Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. As you can see, I am trying something a little bit new in my bullet journal today. Um, I'm sure other people have done this already, but this is new to me. I have gotten some requests in the past to show how I would use vertical kits intended for um, just like spiral bound vertical planners in my bullet journal in case you don't have like a physical planner. You can do this with any vertical kit whether it's my shops or another shops. Um, this week I am doing sort of like a leftover spread. I'm combining a kit from my newest addiction and also um, another leftover kit from Two Little Bees. So normally when I plan by myself, I can finish a spread in like uh, 20 to 30 minutes. When I do decide to film a spread, it takes about 40 minutes just because um, I have to make sure everything's perfect. And this spread took about 50 minutes to film. Not necessarily because I had more things to plan for, but just because I had to think a lot about how to place things and kind of work with this newer layout. So before I started filming, I cut up a strip of paper from the very back of my Archer and Olive bullet journal. This is basically going to be my flap so that I get to tack on two extra columns and one of the extra columns is for the this week section and then um, I wanted the other column because I hate it when <laughs> the Saturday and Sunday um, boxes are stacked on top of each other just because my weekends are generally my busiest days because I have just so many things to do um, so it just doesn't make sense for me to have a condensed weekend so I truly wanted the full eight columns so that's why I did the little flap anyways to set it up I used my Tombow Fudinoske brush pen to letter in the month and also um, the days of the week along with the dates and I also put down a glitter header on top of each column just so that I can start off the spacing and make sure that everything's lined up perfect. For Monday, I put down a coffee doodle sticker from Virgo and Paper to Marking Coffee Monday. And I also put down an email inbox emoji to marking that I wanted to get through some customer service emails. Then I put down a super pretty full box from one of the leftover kits. And I also put down a calendar doodle emoji from my shop too marking that I wanted to start my test printing. So I know I'm super annoying and I talk about my calendar a lot mainly because I'm just very excited and I'm just so proud of how this calendar turned out. My personal due date that I set for myself was mid-July but I managed to finish it several weeks earlier just because I was having kind of a sad week this past week and I feel like there are two different types of sad weeks. Either I just get super productive to make sure that I keep myself busy and then the other one is just like I'm completely unproductive and thankfully my past week was very productive. So yeah, I managed to get the calendar done like two to three weeks earlier than expected which is awesome and I'm getting it test printed which I'm very excited about and I'm also filming the entire process of me working on the calendar so I'm really excited to share that with you. Anyways, I just finished off Monday and then moving on to Tuesday, I put down another full box from the kit and I also put down a sort of working emoji sticker to mark in that I wanted to update my Google Calendar. Then I put down a label sticker along with this um, tater tot sticker, which is also from my shop. It's something a little bit new and I just marked in that I wanted to reorganize my closet because um, I brought out more of my summer clothes. Then I put down a working girl sticker from Fox and Cactus to mark in that I wanted to do some admin work in the Facebook group. Then moving on to Wednesday, I put down a credit card doodle sticker from my shop to mark in that I want to, of course, pay my credit card bill. Um, then I put down a strip of washi tape from Simply Gilded along with a mental health day sticker from Plans, and also an anxiety emoji from my shop. I picked out this sort of poker face emoji head to mark in that I want to do a workout for my abs, butt, and legs. And then I also put down this sort of like kawaii eyes emoji head to mark in that I want to keep up with my new skincare routine because my skincare routine was non-existent before. Um, and then I put down a super pretty floral full box from the kit and also this Netflix sticker from Sparkly Paper Coat to mark in that I want to watch New Girl on Netflix. 
I've watched this show up until I think season 4 like last year then I put down a girl sticker from Lovely Mine to mark in that I want to pick up a plant from a plant nursery and then I put down a label sticker along with a bunny onesie emoji from my shop to mark in that I want to continue working on uh, my sister's wedding gift. And then lastly, I just marked in laundry. I'm leaving a strip of space at the bottom because later I'm going to put down the bottom washi. For Thursday, I put down a half box along with a cherry blossom working emoji to mark in that I want to continue the wedding present. My sister's getting married on um, July 4th, by the way. This is basically just like a very small gathering of like half a dozen people um, And then her real wedding with her real wedding dress and stuff is going to be next year in our hometown So all of our extended families can join as well. Unfortunately for this one I am quote-unquote attending through zoom just because um, I'm still here in Toronto, but I'm very excited for them still um my sister and her fiancé are high school sweethearts. She wasn't allowed to date for most of high school, so um, whenever I saw them together, I would actually tattletale on her and tell my mom. I was pretty annoying as a kid, but they're just seriously the sweetest couple. Oh gosh, I keep rambling in this video. Um, I also marked in customer service emails and used my so sweaty emoji to mark in another workout. That happy mail sticker is from Fox and Cactus. Um, I just used that to mark in that my passion planner is supposed to be arriving next week. And I also put down a drooling emoji head to mark in that I want to meal prep some chicken noodle soup, but I crossed out chicken because I don't use chicken. Then for Friday, I put down another full box along with a meeting sticker and a calendar sticker just to mark in that I am having a meeting with my calendar people to just sort of talk about the pre-order and stuff like that. Then I put down a label sticker from the kit along with a FaceTime doodle sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark in that I want to FaceTime my mom and dad. And then on Friday I'm gonna try my hardest to finish the wedding gift so I just put down a desk sticker from my newer bean samplers and also a long strip of washi from Simply Gilded just to block off the chunk of time because it's going to take quite a while. Then for Saturday, I put down a work sticker from Samantha May 6 and um, I didn't like how I wrote that so I just covered it up with a header. Um, I put down three of these foiled dewdrop stickers from The Giving Girl and wrote down my little to-do list. Um, this is for like really early in the morning because after that is going to be my sister's ceremony. So I just put down this gigantic laptop sticker that came with the kit along with a very happy rainbow emoji. And then underneath that, I put down a camera emoji to mark in that I want to give my gift, of course. And this is definitely something that I want to memory keep and document. So I put down a half box along with this sort of crafting sticker from Willow Willow Co. Then of course, I still have things to do. So I just marked in my to-do list and put down a phone sticker from the Paperly Boutique to mark in that I want to post on Instagram as well. So the clips after this are terrible because I filmed this really early in the morning before sunrise and the sun started to rise and as you can see the lighting is just absolutely terrible. But yeah, I just finished off Sunday. I didn't fully complete it just because I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to be doing a week from today. And then after finishing half a Sunday, I basically just showed you guys how I sort of connected the flap to the actual page. I just used washi tape and I also cut up the bottom washi to sort of make it work. I hope that this video gave you some inspiration on different ways that you can use your bullet journal and your vertical kits. Overall, I genuinely really like how this turned out. Um, the only downside is that it takes just like 10 to 15 minutes longer than usual. I do think that if I try a few more spares, I'm definitely going to get a little bit quicker at this. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this plan with me and I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone!